the news of Hush Puppy has been all around the global news media, you know, several international TV stations and news stations has been carrying it, as well as the social media and internet generally. So, um, right now I want to talk about why no Nigerian should be castigating this guy. Yeah, no Nigerian, no Nigerian at all. You know, I know it's going to sound crazy to you, like, uh, you know, why, why should you, why would you be defending a scammer or something like that? I'm not here to defend him, okay? But you shouldn't be castigating him. The, the number one reason is this. Look at every every nation in the world. Every nation in the world has, um, you see, in life, there will always be a predator and there will always be a prey. Look at every developed nation in the world. They have always been, they have always been great and they have always been developed by the resources they extradited or extracted from other countries whether a more developed country or a lesser de or a less developed country mm? look at some um, uk you know they came to africa you know enslaved people and all these things like that i'm not trying to judge um slavery with scammers but you know just come down and listen to me so they came to africa they stole whatever they want to store whatever they want to steal and they went back they left um africa like that you know the, Be the belgians came the the french people came the portuguese the brazilians and all these people after that when china wants to develop their own country right they came to africa they took some things right you know you, you, you can't just you, you can't enslave africa africa anymore but you can enslave their economy right you can enslave their economy but you can't enslave them physically anymore you know lesser damage lesser damage but it's still a damage bro you know they took whatever they want to take um and they are still taking they went to america you know producing fake products you know stealing a lot of um intellectual properties you know making fake products of their of of, of of their billions of dollar worth brands you know making the fake and selling it to other other countries and other countries are ready to buy these things because they are produced less cheaply and they don't have the money to afford the original ones you know they are buying it they are ripping america off intellectually Okay, now let me tell you this. You see, the point is that um we can't justify what um the likes of Osh Poppy and Mumfa and uh, uh sorry, Mumfa has, has already claimed there's no scammer, but whatever. We can't justify them or justify their actions, but we have to know that we belong to a poor country. Yes, the country is poor, it's not poor by natural resources, but what have you what has the natural resources has been able to do for us as Africans? Nothing, right. The people are suffering, people are hungry, you know, bad health care, you know, bad education system. Africans are disrespected, Africans and Nigerians particularly, they are disrespected everywhere in the world. So, our, our, our resources hasn't done anything for us. Mm? And one of the things that the African government should have been doing is to unite themselves. I don't think we need one Africa. We don't really need that. You know, the unity is enough. And you just have to unite and have one goal and by having one goal and um you know try to get into the competition of the world not uh, letting the the Ameri uh, letting america let uk to come and dictate for them no get in there hmm? if uh north korea a small country is saying he wants to have a nuclear weapon you too maybe Three big countries in, in Africa to maybe, uh, what's the name, big countries I'm talking about with big economy, big population and big by everything, not just by population alone. At least Nigeria, we can say Nigeria is big enough, South Africa is big enough, uh, th those are the two giants in Africa, right? If they have nuclear weapons, people are saying uh, nuclear weapons, uh, it, it's an evil thing. It is not. Mm? It's, it's not. If Nigeria have nuclear weapons, do you think the uh, some Western countries will be sending uh, Boko Haram as um as proxies to disturb the country and or destabilize this country no mm? have you ever heard of um any ter have you ever heard of terrorism inside terrorism inside uh us itself the only one that uh, the one the only ones that we've heard of are the the 9-11 was the name and it's a day thing and since it's happened a day it never happened again mm? but every day some bandits coming and killing people every day and the government is not able to do about it have you ever heard of that in the usa have you ever heard of that in russia have you ever heard of that in china have you ever heard of that in north korea 
Huh? But they will say the North Korean president is this, is that, the terrorist is this, is trying to, he, he, all he care about is wars and acquiring bombs. But he, his country is stable. Hmm? If, they can, if these people can unite and get into that social circle of the world leaders and also take from, not just be selling African resources to them, no. If they can steal from them too, like, I mean, may, if it is about maybe getting, getting into USA as well. USA have oil now. They only, they only try to buy other people's um, oil at cheaper cost and refine it and use it to build their own country. Getting there, hmm, if it is to cost anything, Take their own oil too. If they can take Afri take African oil, then Africa also should set on itself on a journey of taking other people's oil. It might sound like ah, it's not no. They came to Africa. They took Africa's resources. They took Africa's everything. We Africans too to, should go there and take whatever they want and take whatever they have if we can. If we can. But so the point now is that if you are cast getting the likes of Rushpopi and these people that are doing all these things right it is um it is not right morally it is not right it's not right socially but the point is that the only people who are able to castigate these people um straightforward are the people who are able to you know who are able to survive conveniently and the people who are able to provide com their basic comfort for themselves you know you can reason straight you can think okay whatever the society says or whatever the society agrees on is what you think is the truth Mm -hmm. But a time is going to come when the economy, where, when the government policies, when all the decisions of the world leaders are going to affect you too. And that is when you will be fooling, you will realize that you've been fooling yourself. Huh? And the, the major issue about this thing is this. The major issue about this thing is this. This issue of hush puppy is beyond scam. It's beyond the scam, it's beyond the money. Right? Nigeria is now being disgraced globally. It is making things harder for Nigerians globally and internationally. Mm? Even sponsoring, let me tell you, sponsoring a Facebook post on Facebook now, it now need an expert hand. You know, you have to be an expert or you have to be, I've been in it maybe for six, seven years for Facebook to approve, for you to run a Facebook business successfully. I'm telling you, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. That's the level at which things that's that's the level of hardness of things now. Mm? A single mistake, even without a mistake, you know, you will just realize that they they disapprove your ads. You want to sell something, or you want to over something legal, something not contradicting the Facebook terms and policies. You know, there was a time I was running a business of um, selling you stuff, right? I, you know, um, I got some money from one of my previous uh, from one of my previous businesses before i couldn't have raw materials to 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 produce it anymore you know i used to produce some herbs before and you know i still produce herbs right but there's there's a certain type of herb that you know people buy a lot and you know trying to sell more of it i run out of the material or the ingredients so i stopped the production and but during while while the while it was in stock you know I got a lot of money from it and I started this second business, you know, a second business of, um, you know, collecting used stuff from people, then reselling it, you know, on internet, you know, I've got a website and I, I did a lot of things, right? Do you know, that didn't contradict, um, what's the name? That didn't contradict Facebook, uh, Facebook advertisement policy, but they, they disabled that ad, ad account, right? They even disabled my Facebook account. I have to apologize for them to... I have to, yes, I have to apologize, you know, send an appeal to them about this and that. The same thing, apologizing for what I, what I, what I didn't do, you know, I asked them to open it that my account was unfairly disabled, you know, they refused sending me, uh, validated this policy, okay, I won't do that again, you know, it's my business, it's my business account and all these things. So in short, they reopened my Facebook account, but guys' account was never enabled again, and you know, not only that, you know, severally, you know, if you go on, if you go on several social media where people get gigs where people get jobs fever and all this and all these things there's there's this sign there's this type of um castigation toward nigerians and africans generally so i think nigerians shouldn't um you know let's just realize okay this is one of the messes that has happened to our country and our continent right and you know 
we shouldn't be the one to be using our mind our, our own mouth to be spreading all these that uh, uh, is this is that of course we have to castigate you know we these people want to paint us bad right we are not scammers we don't we don't like and we are not in in alliance with what our brother have done right but dealing with the people who actually want to tarnish our image and make sure that they are so they subdue this country and the people in this country down to the lowest and the barest minimum we shouldn't be part of them we shouldn't be part of them unless we are uh, unless we want to act dumb like i said we are not concerned or this is not going to affect us in any way of course and of course this is going to affect us whether we like it or not whether we like it or not whether we like it or not it's going to affect us so I want Nigerians to stop and something even happened on Twitter today. You know, there's there's a guy they call Imam of Peace, you know, he's an Iranian he's an Iranian guy, a Muslim, you know, he's Shiite as well. You know, he I think he wanted to work with Buhari on how to how to stop um Shiites issues in Nigeria, you know. Or let me say how to disable any Shiite threats in Nigeria. That was what he's, he said he has um, gone to discuss with the president, but he wasn't allowed to say the president. And since then, this guy has been shitting on the president, Muhammad Buhari, like, you know, always throwing him on that trailer and trucks on Twitter. But So this money he's saying uh, he termed President Buhari as Senior Oshpopi, uh, Abbas Rahman Ibalude, Oshpopi as Junior Oshpopi. Right, which means that they are both thieves, but well, no problem. But the point is that you know, a lot of Nigerians are a lot of Nigerians are healing him, you know, ah, that is true, this is that. Well, I'm not a fan of Buhari too. Mm -hmm. he, he has a, he's having a bad administration. But the point is that this guy is going to be a disaster to our country. Number one, and as well, as well, you know, it doesn't mean well for our country, right? He, I, I think he just wants to, he's just throwing the, the he's just shitting on the, shitting on the president because he's not able to have a social relationship with the president. Mm -hmm. And that's what he wanted and he's not able to. So he started shitting on the president, shitting on the president and that can't get him anything. I'm calling him imam of peace and whatever. Oh well. Um, we shouldn't be part of the people who are conniving to who are conniving to subdue our continent and our country. Mm -hmm. Africans are hitting on Africans. The whites are hitting on Africans. Africans are hitting, other Africans are hitting on Nigeria, right? I don't want to sound like I don't want to I don't want to play victim like Nigerians are being victimized or something like that. But you know they are actually being victimized. But well, it doesn't matter, right? The point is that no matter what has been the extra external effort that is trying to subdue this country it is going to affect every one of us and we shouldn't be part of it we shouldn't be part of it we shouldn't be part of the people that are going to be tearing this country apart huh if Oshpapi's issue has been treated as a dubai resident this guy has always been shitting on nigeria right Oshpapi has always been shitting on nigeria as well mm -hmm. the only time he's done something that i really like was doing the xenophobia in south africa thing and he raised his voice to push other Nigerians into acting. I mean, other other Nigerian celebrities into uh, speaking up against the government so that they can take action. And you know, things were done very well. That's the only thing that I see he has done in support of Africans and Nigerians. Uh, and you know, he has always been shitting on the country. Yo, oh, the country doesn't help you. The country has been doing this. The country has been doing that. The point is, this country you shouldn't be part of the people who are going to. We are going to be tearing it apart. We don't have any another country yet. Even if there is going to be Afra, even if there, are going, there is going to be a dual republic, they are not yet existing. Okay, let's protect the one we have. And if we are not going to protect it, right? It's it 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 shouldn't be a, an external force that is go, that is going to come and destroy it. So that is it. So that is it. I don't know. Uh, you know. Hope you get the point. Hope you get the point. So that's it.